Hello everyone and welcome back to Art Incorporated. Today we are going to be doing some color mixing and we're also going to be learning about flamingos. So if you don't know, flamingos are a bird that live in generally warm places. You can find them in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Um, and they usually have this bright pink color to them. And today we're going to be talking about colors. Um, but one cool fact about the flamingo is they're usually seen as pink, but they can also turn white. So their feathers are colored determined on what they eat. So a lot of flamingos eat shrimp, and shrimp can usually be a pink color. Um, they also, the shrimp also has a mineral in it that makes their feathers pink. So today we're going to try and make our own pink flamingo. So here I have a sketch of a flamingo that Miss Angela did for me. Um, it's a little light on camera. But if you got the kids kits um, this week, you'll be able to use this in your from your box. Um, I also have a paint tray for mixing colors. I have some washable kids paint and a paint brush. And you can use um, some water to clean your paint brushes and some um, paper towels as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make pink for my flamingo. So you need two colors to make pink. And I'm going to hold out all my colors and I want you guys to guess which color we need to make pink. So there'll be two of them. So I have white, blue, yellow, green, and red. Okay, tell me, what two colors do you think are going to make pink? If you guessed red and white, you are correct. So we are going to mix those two to make pink. So I'm going to move the rest off to the side. So I'm going to open up my red and I'm going to add a little bit to my paint tray here. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white next to it. I'm going to shake this up. So I added a little bit of white to my tray and I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to just take a little bit of white and then slowly mix it in until I get the pink color that I want. It's already starting to get a little bit lighter, so I might not need much more. Okay, I think I have a pretty good pink color here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint my flamingo. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to be completely in the lines. Um, you could also use your brush to do some dots, you could do stripes. Usually flamingos, um, they have feathers because they're birds, so they usually don't have stripes. At least these birds don't. Some birds actually have spots in their feathers. Okay, let's see. Let's also, while we're painting, think about what color of flamingo you would like to have. If you could have a flamingo, what color would you want it to be? Say, maybe your flamingo eats grapes. So would your flamingo turn green, or would it turn purple? Or would it stay white? That's all up to you. But here's my flamingo. Feel free to add other colors for his beak, right here, that helps him eat. Um, one fun fact about flamingos when they eat is their head needs to be completely upside down for them to eat, uh, because their bill is hooked. 
So it helps them scoop up all of the shrimp in their mouth, or algae is another food that they eat as well. But here is my flamingo. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today and we hope to see you guys again soon. Um, check out our Facebook and our website. We are doing reservations. Um, two families at a time can come visit the museum for up to two hours a day. So take a look at that and we'll see you again soon. Bye.